Come dirty. That's a good one. Hey, dude. Hey, man. Smoked it. Smoked it. Smoked it. You got two or three barbs in your mouth, bud. I'm sorry. I know you were buttoned up pretty good there, boss. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'm gonna get you out, buddy. Okay, all right, all right. I know, it's a weird so weird and now you are free my friend hey little dude little spot with your smart with your small mouth there buddy thank you for engaging and playing along i appreciate you all right finally the whopper plopper 75 bite is starting to pick up man that is my Dog days of midsummer go to whopper plopper size right there. I pulled it away from him. Son of a gun. Well, you know what? Cats like to play. Don't ever forget that. So if you can duplicate that cast, just like with a frog fish or any other topwater fish, uh, he might still be over there wanting to engage. Now, do I have to cut my clip off just to get out of this braid mess. And retie all of this all over again. Because that would really, really suck. And I'm trying to remain patient and not have to do that. And see which way my tangles are going here. And just kind of follow them. And I think I have done it. Yes! Oh, Lord. Thank you for granting me the patience this morning. Not exactly the same spot, but...
See if we can do any follow-up bait stuff. Oh, that's that money cast right there. Oh, yeah! Holy smokes! Now, that's what I'm talking about. All right, ain't no sense dicking around with these hooks. She's a good one right there, boys and girls. Holy smokes. Oh man, I got a mess to pick up after I let this fish go. I can get out of tangling everything up. Wow, girl, you look nice and chunky, nice and healthy. You are a large mouth. You've been feeding good. You're beautiful. Thank you for playing along, girl. I know you're full of pee and vinegar. But man, thank you, beautiful specimen you, for playing along on the guy with the GoPro fishing show. There you go, mama. Thank you for being a worthy opponent. white whopper plopper in this is called I know it it's not the powder is the all white this is more like a sexy shad uh, color so let me get my BMC clips put away untangle that mess do a time check and then we will come back if there's any time left I'm about to start getting the top water already. I don't care. I don't care what time it is. I don't let none of that dictate none of that. Um, it's already kind of low light. And uh, we'll be right back with some top water action. Getting ready to go. Hey, look at that, dude. See what I mean by I don't care by what time of day it is. If you think you can get on a topwater bite and all the conditions are present, then, then chuck it. Have confidence in it and get to chucking it. Hold on, boss. See, we got you free. I know you're full of piss and vinegar, buddy. Man, the gamma and the 13 fishing. Dude, this is the first year that I've thrown top water on a 6-7. I was throwing them on 6-9s. And, uh, you know, he's nothing big, but he's still a warrior. 
he wanted that as soon as that them rings dissipated and uh you know warrior thank you dude yes i just want to say guys i do recommend the skeeter hawk i've only used one of the two cartridges that come with it and uh, I put it up here so it's out of the way of, you know, don't get tangled in my reel handles or something when I'm trying to fish. So I just put it on my bicep. Um, and this place down here is notorious for, like, you're constantly swatting at your face and uh, just all that. Well, when I remember to bring my Skeeter Hawk, uh, I don't have to worry about none of that. I really don't and I would not be endorsing it if it didn't work and I, I'm not sponsored by these guys I have not tried to be sponsored by these guys I'm just telling you I will be buying the refills and this thing will not leave my fishing backpack until mosquito season's over and I'm actually going to email the company and tell them what an awesome product they got. So, it's worth the 10 bucks, guys. Heck, I think I'm going to put one in, uh, not June, but, uh, no, or not July, but August, uh, giveaway pack i haven't figured out what theme of baits i'm gonna put in there yet but uh definitely gonna throw in a skeeter hawk so i was just doing some trimming uh with my clippers so i don't hit any of that on the back cast but uh so there's the new fishing mobile guys I haven't even had it but about 24 hours as of give or take a half hour or so but I love her she's great uh, not the biggest bed in the world but that's all right we'll make do um, I'm gonna get a locking tiny cover and whatnot but as you can see Got a few fishing stickers that I've been holding on to already up. So, hope you all like it. Hold on one second. Can I help you? Get to your name. Yeah, call three. Oh, did you? Yeah, just top water. I hear you. Yeah, that's yeah. nice, man. Add something to be around here. Yeah, I hear it get tired of the civilization you go out in the woods and there you go that's what I, that's why i'm out here i work in the city i gotta unplug man <laughs> yeah, yeah get away from it all absolutely what's your name bud jimmy campbell jimmy yeah i'm yeah. brian nice to meet you nice meeting you you live down here a while oh i've lived up here for 31 years so you know old herb that passed away oh, that, yeah. yeah that was my buddy yeah, he he tell you anything about fishing. Yeah, I've actually fished with him he, down here about the uh, probably about six months before he passed away. Yeah, he used them uh, brown rubber worms that he was yeah. out with. It. Yeah, yeah, yep, that was my friend. Me, uh, I met him first, but he uh, fishes with the. He used to fish every Saturday with a friend of mine that lives right down the road. Uh, Dave Tyler, you know yeah, Dave. Yeah, I know Dave. Yeah, that's a friend of mine too. I was raised up around Dave up on Georgia Street. Oh, okay, yeah. He told me he told me he was from Georgia Creek. Yeah, yeah I live in Bell, so. Yeah, that's where we was raised up at. Me and David stuff. Yeah. yeah. I stopped by Holler Amer once a while and. Yeah, me too. I, I moved from Georgia Creek up here 31 years ago just to get away from all the bullshit and drugs yeah. and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a recovering addict myself, buddy. And I enjoy it. That's good. Though. I yeah. mean, because there ain't no life in it. Oh, no, man. No. No. I'm a testimony to that. As long as you now enjoy it, you're enjoying life. That yeah, I just bought me a truck for the first time yesterday. That's uh, my first truck I ever owned. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, man. 
Feels so good. You what, uh, so you wouldn't have had that if you no. were on drugs? No, absolutely not. So and all I, your money was going on drugs. Yep, yeah. and I've been at the same job for almost three years. and That's great, man. You know. I'm glad to hear it. Cause, yeah. uh, it's a good laid-back holler and... No yeah, ballers and nothing. And I and not you know, if people, I didn't want people to start seeing my car and being like, man, this guy's wearing his welcome out. So I, I don't feel obligated to do it. I just do it. But like once a month, I come down here and when I'm done fishing, I put the rods up and I do a big trash cleanup. Yeah. Just because you know, I don't know who well, comes down there. Respect. Yeah, it's out of respect, and I never fly in and out. Of these haulers because I know there's kids here and sometimes I come here before I go to work but I still go slow in and out of the neighborhood just to show my respect yeah because they're gonna be seeing my car during fishing season oh we well you know I look at it if I see the same vehicles up here all the time they're catching fish yeah and you know they wouldn't be coming back if they wasn't catching fish right <laughs> and right. I'll talk to everybody I see I said, you catch anything, you know, just being neighborly yeah. on the holler just to see how they did, you know. If they, yep. didn't ca they didn't catch nothing. I said, well, you got a plan B? And they said, what's that? I said, Captain D's right across the river. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I like to make people laugh, and, you know. Yeah. That's it, man. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're going the straight road now and got away from that rat race out there. Oh, that's all it is, man. I, I just, yeah, I don't miss it. Yeah, I don't miss it. And I tell you what, there's always my reserved table for me in the gutter whenever I want to go back to it. If in God forbid. Yep. That that table's always waiting for me. Well, but, the good Lord apparently got plans for you. Uh, uh, yeah, I think he does. Even brought you out of getting in that gutter. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, shoot, Jimmy, it was uh, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. If you're ever watching uh, YouTube vid YouTube fishing videos, my my show is called Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show. Oh, really? Yeah, you that's my show. show huh? Yeah, <laughs> I only got like a hundred and twenty some subscribers, but hey, I just like to. I like to fish, so I bought a camera and just well, my boy, started documenting. My boy, Kevin Campbell, he races motorcycles now. And okay. He goes all these places and races and stuff, and he's got sponsors. And, cool. And uh, he sells cars down there at Astor. Okay, yeah, yep. And he's well-known, and, he, you know, he... Uh, he on his on his helmet when he's racing he's got a camera on the front of him yeah he got a view of it after yeah after every race he can look and see everything yeah you know, yeah back over and, yeah that's cool man but it's there's, there's a lot to them cameras oh yeah they're they're pretty helpful you man. can sit back and look at them later on oh yeah and say well I did something wrong there. I might I, now I know what to do the next time. <laughs> yeah, but that's good though. I mean that you started your thing. It don't matter how many followers you got right now. Right now, yeah. Yeah, as time goes on, you get more and more. And... Well, see, YouTube and Facebook and all them—they talk to each other, and they don't like that I'm a patriot and I support the former president. So they don't, they try to keep my numbers down because a lot of my subscribers are like, I can't believe you only got the numbers you got with with the your video production and the fish you catch and how passionate you are and like you know what I mean. I know my stuff. I'm a huge tackle nerd, but you know since I don't want to be a communist and socialist and I didn't vote for Biden, they they really don't want to boost my channel. Yeah, well, Biden don't have a backbone like Trump did. He Trump, don't. Trump, Trump, Trump he, uh, he he was holding his, holding his own. He yeah. Said, I'll just tell them the way it is, whether they like it or not. Exactly. Biden, he, he, he more or less go kiss her ass and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a money freak, and he's spending money left and right, and it's going to end up being on stupid shit. It's going to come back and haunt him. Yeah, and it's going to haunt us with this inflation, man. Next thing you know, gas is going to be $7 a gallon. Oh, yeah. I just got back from the beach, and hell, it was already up. It was 
309 on Camels Creek. Yeah. And the cheapest I got it was like 294. I was like, this shit ain't gonna go down. Everything stores went up. And... Yeah, it's a shame, man. Damn open borders and all that, but. Yeah, old Trump, I guarantee you didn't like him taking part of his wall down. Yeah. All that money he threw away. Unreal. That's money you just pissed out the window. Unreal, man. Unreal. Oh, nice meeting you. Isn't yeah, it? nice meeting you. I'm sure you'll, you'll see me around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good talking to you, man. Yeah, ain't no game more than that. I just like to talk to people that I see them there fishing. Hey, that's fine. I, I I like to talk about fishing, so so it's a win-win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you talk about the man down the road here that passed away. Yeah, Herb was my buddy. Her, Herb was, uh, if anybody knew anything about fishing. It was old Herb. I came here for a bunch of rides back to the vehicle. He'd park on the upper end, and he'd end up way down here. And you yeah. Could, you could tell he was dragging. Yeah. I'd stop. I said, Herb, let me get you right back up to your vehicle. I'd take him right back up to the vehicle, open the door. I said, you'll be all right get home? Yeah. He said, I'm all right now. <laughs> yeah. I miss that old cat. Yeah. Yeah. He was a diehard. He was. Have a good one, buddy. You too, bud. Well, guys, that's what it's about, man. It's about being neighborly. It's about loving the best country on earth. Uh, whether you agree with my politics or not, that's fine. Now, if you're gonna let a politician who doesn't give a crap about you or me, inter you know, make the decision whether you decide to stay subscribed to my channel or not, that's on you. But uh, I don't really, uh, you know what, I don't need any communist or socialist really uh, watching my channel. I really don't. And uh, I'm not ashamed to be a patriot. And um, that's all I'm going to say about that. So, uh, you know, hope you all enjoyed the episode. Uh, now is the time, man. Try the 75, dude. It's some, something special about the Whopper Popper 75 because when the bites on them 110s and the Chopo 90 bite stops and the Chopo 130 bite stops and then the Whopper Popper 60 bite stops, the 75, man, I tell you what, it'll get you through until pretty much the top order bite ends. It will. And I will have proof, documented video proof to attest to that until the top water bite ends. Because I am a top water fiend. I throw it until it's too cold to throw by most people. And then I'll throw buzz baits a little longer and poppers because the slow moving stuff. You can't tell me, you know, even if it's going to get cold, that hot around here the hot apex of the day is from dinner time till right before the sun goes down that is it that is the apex man so as the sun's going down in those later you know september october months after the hottest part of the day we went through you could still throw buzz baits even if the water is 60 degrees i'm telling you I, i'm gonna see this year how far into the late fall early winter i can push throwing top water so we'll just call it at that guys i hope you're subscribed because i'm giving away a uh pretty gnarly drop shot kit so uh go back to uh episode 73 i believe it was summer drop shotting featuring the shad shaped worm and uh, if, as long as you're subscribed, uh, drop a hashtag drop shot kit, all one word in the comments, and you'll be entered to win. Now, 
If I could only ask one thing of y'all, subscriber squad, please share the video. If you found anything informative or, or anything that I showed y'all today to help improve your fishing game, then it's a win-win. But if you could help a brother out, just please share the video. I'm an unsponsored, you know, self-funded guy. I just got a, a, a vehicle now, fishing mobile number two, that, uh, you know, I took a little uh, financial endeavor in purchasing this truck. You know, it's not paid for. I had to get a loan and whatnot, but uh, it's all right. It's in God's hands and it's gonna be paid for and I'll finally have some credit established. So uh, a little late on that, but I just don't believe in this debt-based system. But anyway, guys, hope you liked it. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you did. Please don't if you didn't like it. And uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know how your topwater fishing has been going over the summer. And uh, we will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. This is Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show. Out for now. But just for now.